Hello everyone, welcome back to Yarn by the Glass. My name is Reese and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these circular crochet coasters. So the first thing that you have to know about these coasters is that they're not made with the usual like wool or acrylic yarns um, that we make most of our projects with. It's going to be made out of uh, cotton yarn. Um, it should say like 100% cotton on the label but they are the best ones to use for these kinds of projects because they're a little stiffer than the acrylic yarns. Um, and they're able to absorb more water than the acrylic yarns. But if you're using it for a coffee mug, these are gonna withstand the heat <laughs> that a coffee mug will have or some other like hot tea, whatever you have, than the acrylic yarns, which might end up like warping or melting. Ugh, you don't want that. So um, I'm making mine in two different colors so that just it looks, I don't know, more fun. They make up really quickly. Um, it takes me about 15-20 minutes to make one, you know, so you can make up a set of four pretty quickly. So let's get into what we'll need to get this project going. So we're going to be needing any two colors of some cotton yarn. We're going to be using a crochet hook eye or the 5.25 millimeter, a pair of scissors, and a tapestry needle. So to start, we are of course going to make our slip knots. And then we are going to be chaining four. And then we're actually going to turn this into a magic circle. So we are going to insert our hook into the very first chain. We are going to grab the yarn and pull through and we're going to do a slip stitch. So we're going to be pulling it through the chain that's on our hook as well. All right. So it looks kind of like a circle. If you use your imagination, <laughs> it will look more like a circle. When we're done with our first row. All right, so we're going to chain one and then we are going to do single crochets into the center of our circle. All right, so we're not going to go into any of these chain spaces. We're going to go into the, the middle space, all right, in the center of our circle. We're going to do this 11 times so that first chain that we did in the beginning is going to count as one. So we're going to do 11 more, one, two, three, four, okay, 12, and then to join our circle, we're going to make another slip stitch, all right, into that first chain space, there we go, chain one. All right, and that is how our very first row is going to look. So we have, I'm counting. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to be doing two single crochets into each stitch from the previous row, all right? So starting with this very first one here, we're going to skip this. We're going to go here and we're going to do two single crochets. And this pattern's going to be a little weird because it's going to be almost as if we are doubling for the first three rows, but not white. Um, if you do try to make exactly double, the coaster isn't going to come out quite right. All right. And now we're going to do another slip stitch 
into that chain space. Yeah. All right. So here's row number two. All right, so as you can see, our very first row should have had 12 stitches, and then we do our slip stitch in the first chain space. And then next to that chain, we're going to start doubling. All right, so we're not going to end up with 24. We're going to end up with 22. All right. So we're going to chain again, chain one, and we're going to do the same thing to each one of these individual stitches. Okay. So we're going to do two single crochets into each one of these spaces, ending with a slip stitch. All right. And so at the end of this, instead of what would have been 48, we'll end up with 44. All right, and then we're going to do a slip stitch. All right, so this is where the pattern is gonna get a little bit different. So we're just gonna do single crochets in each one of these. All right, so once you have the single crochet pattern down for this round, that's really all we're gonna do for our last round. So at the end of this one, we're going to do another slip stitch, chain one, and then one more round of single crochets. And that's going to be it. So thanks again for watching. I hope you all enjoy your crochet coasters. If you want to see more videos, please like, subscribe to my channel, and then you will get notifications when more stuff pops up.